on the line with Larry Bluestein. Uh, Larry, what can you tell us about uh, Garen Justice? I feel like it's a name that for a lot of people, it came out of nowhere. I've done my research. I know he came from UNLV, but I saw you were one of the first to come out and talk about how good of a hire uh, this was. So what do you know about him and what, what made you come out to say that this was a great offensive uh, line coach? Well, I've followed Garen now for 15 years. Um, you know, he comes out of University of West Virginia. Um, he's coached at several schools. FAU have had an opportunity to watch him up close and personal. And the one thing that I noticed about him right away is he was a great recruiter. He could go into any living room and, and, and relate to the parents as well as the kids. Um, he sold the fact that he's a teacher. Uh, when he was at UNLV, he went from an offensive line coach to offensive coordinator in one year. Um, he developed, and, and I'm a, you know, I happened to go uh, to graduate from UNLV, so I kind of know, you know, a lot about, the, you know, that program and what they've been through over the last couple of years. And he certainly came in, and we've, uh, we've kind of been friends for a long time, and we've kind of talked a lot about recruiting and, and recruits, and, you know, we, we kind of bounce things off of each other. And I've been at this so long, you could usually tell a lot about a coach by the way they, you know, communicate with you and, and the questions they ask you and, and, and the way they evaluate talent. And I was so, uh, in our second conversation, when I was looking at an offensive lineman that he was recruiting and we had the same – um, the same opinion, the same evaluation on him, and um, it's been like that ever since. So, uh, you know, I mean, and, and when I saw that, um, and I believe he was a Lashley hire because Lashley knew a lot about him because, you know, Garen's one of those guys. You know, he's an imposing guy, six foot seven. So obviously, when you see him, uh, you know, he stands out from the crowd. But what he is, is he, he's a guy who relates to everybody. And that's a very important thing, you know, in this day and age of college. He, you know, he, he went to uh, the Christopher Columbus the other day and talked to the, uh, the young man who was, I think, one of the top linemen around. He identified him right away. So I think what fans are going to get is somebody who understands the game. Remember, he's been in an authoritative position where he was a head coach at a smaller school. He was an offensive coordinator. So from a management standpoint, he understands what the head coach is going through. So I think that's huge. He's a teacher, which Miami sorely needs. Miami's got really good offensive linemen, but they just haven't been coached. You know, I'm not going to say anything bad about Coach Berry or anybody who's been here before, but I think I know the one thing about Garen Justice is he's a teacher. Um, he, he, he teaches technique, uh, and he's a guy that relies a lot on watching a lot of film uh, after practice of the kids, uh, you know, during the practice session. So he can just point out to them right away within – 40 minutes of the practice, what they did right, what they did wrong, so they can come back the next day and improve on it. So uh, that's what made me happy about his, uh, you know, his hiring because of the fact that he's been there, done that. Uh, he's a proven commodity on the field, off the field, uh, and he's a genuine person and he's a really good guy. All right. Awesome. I appreciate that, Blue. And I agree with you. A lot of people have said, you know, we need better offensive linemen. I say, hey, we're getting these four, uh, these yeah. three and four star offensive linemen, but you know, it just seems like they haven't, they don't improve like, like, um, like a lot of other schools players do. And I think, um, as you say, you're vouching for um, Garen as a teacher and a developer, and I think that's really what we need on this staff, especially at that offensive line position. Hundred um, percent. You know, there's no doubt. I mean, because when you land the game four-star guys and three-star guys and they don't end up playing that way, it's not often their fault. It's because they haven't been taught well. Uh, you've got to remember, Miami's playing a schedule of ACC teams, and they're not playing in the AAC, and they're not playing in the Sun Belt. They're playing against guys who are proven type of athletes who are being coached and coached up very well, whether it be in North Carolina or whether it be FSU or wherever – you know, they played this year. Even Virginia Tech has tremendous line coaches. So I think that Miami is kind of caught up that way. We know that on the defensive side, uh, you know, we've, we've seen positive things. We've seen the schemes work. Uh, you know, Manny's more of a defensive guy, so obviously he's going to put a lot of people in place. 
Um, yeah, and you you look at Stroud, whether it's Stroud as a defensive line coach or Rump as a defensive back coach with uh, Banda. Uh, you've got guys in place that teach and they coach. You just lack that on the offensive side. I think that's going to hold true, uh, you know, with Garen. I think it's going to hold true, you know, with, with the Lashley as an offensive coordinator, somebody who, who will play to the strengths of, of Miami's talent and not so much make them do things that they're really, you know, that, that they're not used to doing. 